What's up VK family? It's your boy Vado coming at you with yet another early review. Today we'll be looking at the 4K details of a highly anticipated pair. Now if you're already here, you've read the title and you know what it is. But before we dive into that guys, make sure you shoot my media guy Mr. Aish Productions behind the camera a follow. Insert his Instagram right here because listen, just because it's me in front of the camera doesn't mean I'm doing all the work. We got to show love to everybody around it, especially the man that puts it all together. All right, so do that if you haven't already. But welcome back to our special Spot, Vital Chinatown, Chicago's newest streetwear, uh, luxury streetwear boutique, located in Chinatown of Chicago. Uh, it's quite interestingly enough, someone walked in the other day when I was running the store and was like, yo, Vital, I watch all your YouTube videos, I thought you were in California. Like, do I not say that enough? Do I not let people know that I'm in Chicago enough? Because I'm in Chicago, Chinatown, all right? You cannot miss me. If you come to Chinatown, everybody that visits Chinatown visits Vital. Just remember that, okay? So, no, I'm not in LA, but I'll take it as a compliment. That being said, guys, it is a great time to follow us on Instagram, insert right there, um, just because it is Moon Festival. We are recording this on September 5th. Um, on September 24th, we'll be doing a an event with two local Asian clothing brands popping up. Um, because if you don't know about Moon Festival, it is an Asian holiday, so we're really dedicating the month um, to really just showing off our culture, uh, which I'm super excited about, okay? So that being said, guys, I know that's not what you came for, but definitely shoot us a follow, all right? I don't wanna hold you back too much, but right at this moment, guys, if you've been following us for a minute, drop a comment. Let us know what you think about our reviews. Let us know if you think we've been growing and moving in the right direction, or maybe you just have some feedback to give. We love hearing that, and we love interacting with our VK family, right? That being said, let's get it. And welcome back. So, if you're at this point in the video, you already know that we're about to dive into the 4K details of the Jordan 11 DMP that is set to release soon. To be honest, Jordan Brand hasn't announced it, uh, the official release date yet, um, but we do know, or highly predict that it's gonna release in December of this year because most other Jordan 11s, especially when they've been holding out on us for a while, is going to be in December during the holiday season. Everybody gets 11s for Christmas. Um, I think last year it was the Cherry 11s, right? So this year it's gonna be the Jordan 11 DMPs. Um, they might have released a few other pairs throughout the year, but not really too high demand. They usually save the best for the holiday season, right? Uh, that being said, let's give a little history on the sneaker before we dive into it, okay? So DMP stands for Defining Moments Pack. And and even though this single pair of 11s is releasing, originally it released back in 2006, uh, January of 2006, where they released the DMP 6s with some gold hits on it, alongside with the DMP 11s, which were exactly the same as the Concord 11s for the most part, um, especially, uh, excuse me, except for some special packaging and a gold hit on the Jumpman. Um, so really this time around in 2023, we're not getting the pack, um, though these are still the DMP, the Defining Moments Pack Jordan 11s. <laughs> Excuse me. As we go through this, guys, you're gonna notice a few different things, all right? Good and bad. I'll point out the good, but you already know, guys, I try to be as not biased as possible. So we'll also point out some of the bad and things that were missing from the original kit, all right? Enough of me talking, guys. Let's dive into this box. Looking at the packaging, guys, you already see that we're getting skimped a little bit, right? Especially if you saw that back in 2006, where they had, uh, I don't know, like a whole briefcase looking thing. It was a, a large open lid. I, I don't know, maybe we can pull up a picture right here. But if not, um, you already know this is pretty underwhelming. There's not too much um, they did with the packaging, all right? But I'll go over it. I don't think too many people care about it anyways. But all black box, gold jump man, um, gold little ring there next to the size tag, which is a, a little touch. We get a gold 23 on the side, and I think the most detail comes when you open it, um, where you see the gold Jordan alien looking text. If you didn't know, by the way, on the Jordan 11s, which I'll point it out when we get to the sneakers, this actually says Jordan, all right? And I know it took me forever to find that out. Um, but what's really cool and unique about this box is going to be the paper, all right? That's probably the best thing as it comes to the packaging. Um, I kind of prefaced it, but that's one of the cons, right? Um, back in the day, they went off with the packaging where you just felt good paying that $295 retail price. I know, back in the day, they sold that pack, two pairs of sneakers for $295. Uh, you'd be lucky if one pair of these released for $295 nowadays, right? We already know inflation and uh, the retail has been hiking up on us. But nonetheless, that's besides the point, guys. On this piece of paper, it says, 
a lot of different thank yous. It says thank yous in a whole bunch of different languages. I see thank you in English, I see grazie, I see gracias, right? So those are the few I can say. And then a whole bunch of other languages. So that's really cool. Um, if anybody knows the story of why they're saying thank you in many, many different languages, please let us know. Um, but that's cool. So that's it for the packaging, guys. A Little bit of a con there. All right, but that's it about the nonsense. Let's look at the real heat, the Jordan 11 DMPs. Roll that B-roll. Guys, these are absolutely crazy. And I wanna point out some of the different things that they switched up from the original DMP pack. Um, but even if you were to look at this as an original sneaker on its own, let's say the original DMP pack never released, I think a lot of us are gonna be super impressed, all right? But let's get there when we get there, guys. Starting off with the sock liner like we always do, guys, you're gonna notice a very regular black nylon. Nothing too special there, um, so it remains to its OG hits. Diving right into the insoles, which we'll get a close up on, I'm noticing a gold 23 as well. So we don't get a jump man, which I think most people will appreciate because I believe the OG also had 23, Jordan's numbers. Um, but it's really cool because it's all black outsole with gold on it, uh, which I think is a perfect contrast given the details of the rest of the sneaker. That being said though, guys, while we're inside the sneaker, continuing to talk about its packaging, as you guys can see for the insole, we just get a regular paper thing, which is cool, you know, I'm not mad at it, but back in the day, they used to give us the the plastic insoles which something has coveted it and something as uh how do you say historic as this one i wish they kind of put a little bit more love so that's another con all right but again guys i think we've moved on the packaging and all that stuff they haven't been giving us premium packaging for 11s so i don't think people care let's move on Moving down to the immediate uppers, this is gonna be one of the biggest differences of the DMP 11s. As you guys get a close up, you're gonna notice that the uppers, which are white for the most part, are all leather, right? And now the community is gonna be split because I know the original DMP pack or even the Concords, which it was based off of, all this white uppers was mesh um, and now it's leather. So I think there's gonna be two opinions. One is, holy cow, they took an OG and they ruined it and it's gone forever, which I totally get. If you've been watching our reviews long enough, you know that I want things to stay true to the OG as well. Um, and then the other half, which I'm kind of slowly getting over to, is that the leather is absolutely amazing, right? And it, it really um, makes a premium look for this sneaker that I'm spending so much money on. Um, it, the leather is definitely more premium than mesh. And we know even from the factory standpoint, they're paying more for this material. Um, so I think seeing something more premium is definitely um, encouraging of why I wanna pick up this pair of sneakers. And also when I'm feeling the leather, they are tumbled and they are quite plush, right? So it lets me know, excuse me, especially this tongue. Um, so it lets me know that the leather isn't straight trash um, and it's something that I can really trust to last a while, right? Um, so there's two pros and cons in terms of the wear and tear. With the mesh, uh, if you guys have owned Concords long enough, giving them a clean or two, that mesh is eventually gonna start to yellow. Um, especially if you wear them pretty often, that'll at least turn it off white. Whereas with leather, you can wash them as much as possible and the wear and tear or the color isn't gonna really change too much. You might just see a few extra creases, all right? So guys, that's one of the biggest changes right now, just straight off the bat. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you part of the side that's like, yo, I wish they never changed it, I need that mesh um, because it helps my feet breathe or something, I don't know. Or are you a part of the side that's like, yo, leather? That's premium, that's dope. And uh, to be honest, guys, I think it's dope because I just like material so much. And as long as it's not a downgrade, I'm honestly not mad. Let's move on. Taking a look immediately around those uppers, you're gonna notice that this pair only comes with white laces, your regular Jordan 11 thicker laces. Um, we don't get any extra laces, but I don't think people look for that in 11s anyways. So nothing wrong with that, a super clean upper. I, I will mention that the eye stays that hold the laces too are really premium leather, which is really cool. To wrap up this part of the sneaker, you're gonna notice a very standard stripe in the middle of that Jordan 11 tongue. This time it's an all black with white text and a gold jump man. Again, like I said about the box, that white text actually says Jordan when you turn it to its side, all right? Uh, you kind of have to go home, play with it, turn it a few ways to really start to see it. Um, but when I, when I learned that, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's what it says right there. Before we move down to the rest of the uppers, let's just point out the last few details that really make this pair, at least visually, look different from its uh, predecessor, the Concord 11s, right? First, this gold jump man on the back heel is gonna be gold. Um, and instead of an embroidered uh, thread, it's gonna be a solid plastic 
elastic hip, uh, which I think is pretty cool because again, it just gives that premium look, right? Similarly, on the back, we're gonna have that gold 23 that also matches the logo in its insole. Again, this really makes it pop, especially on a black, um, a black background. And again, when I feel it, I'm definitely feeling that plastic, um, so it's embossed and really sticking out rather than uh, embroidered thread. And finally guys, to wrap up the uppers, we move down to what people love the most about Jordan 11s, and that's gonna be the 360 patent leather that goes all the way around the sneaker. Um, as you guys can see, that is original, right? Nothing has changed about that. That is all black. Um, I think some mock-ups had some glitter in it. Um, I'm here to let you know that's not happening, right? So they just have a regular all black and it's super clean. Um, can't complain about that at all. Okay guys, we're about to wrap up the sneaker, moving to the midsole, the outsole, and then giving you our reviews, right? Um, but at this point, we're like midway through it. So guys, Give us your opinion, right? Your interaction, like I've been telling you, is all that matters. Do you guys mess with these gold hits or is it like, nah, keep it black, I want the Concords? Do you guys mess with this white leather, um, premium hits or, or of materials and whatnot? Or nah, keep it OG as possible, right? Uh, or do you wish like, hey, everything you're saying, I just wish they um, gave us some box and some cool insoles, right? I really like hearing what our subscribers have to say um, and, and just having some cool conversation with you guys, right? But let's move on to the midsole. Nothing too much to talk about with the midsole. On the outside of the sneakers, you're gonna notice it's just your regular white, and I think they did that intentionally just to still stay to its OG hits, especially right under that black patent leather. Um, but on the other side, guys, let's remember, just like any other Jordan 11, hold on, let's just... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, always part of the test, right? If you've been tapping Jordan 11s long enough, you know what carbon fiber sounds like. But again, we're gonna have that hard hit of carbon fiber right around the arc of your foot uh, to offer some extra support. So can you play basketball in these? Maybe, I wouldn't suggest it though. I'm popping out, you know, every time I wear these, I'm popping out. Uh, that being said, guys, let's move on to the outsole so that we can give you our ratings. As we get a close-up 4K on this outsole, you're also going to notice that switch in details. Whereas in the past, it was a clear, if not a, uh, you know, light blue when they started to do that. This time, we're getting a milky bottom, which I think continues to add to its flavors of premium because if you look at it, it actually fits really, really well and it will yellow on you a lot less. Uh, will it yellow? Over time, it will, you know, because it's still semi-transparent. I can see the jump man there. Um, but by making it milky white, this sneaker, in terms of its uh, aging, is definitely gonna last longer. Again, we're gonna have those two different sides, right? So right now, some people are typing in the comments, man, they ruined them, I wish they were icy blue. Which I get, which I get. Icy blue is totally cool and so is clear, right? But I just think something about putting this milky bottom on it just makes it a really cohesive sneaker um, that I can trust. And that's the biggest thing, right? I know I can rock these to the ground um, and just give them a good clean and they'll probably look like this again, um, which is really, really cool, really encouraging um, because that's often my biggest hesitation when it comes to 11s, all right? And so that is it, VK family, on our very early 4K review of the upcoming Jordan 11 DMP set to release in 2023. Yes, I did that in one shot, no problem. I'm meant for this camera YouTube thing. Nah, I'm just playing. But anyways, guys, you know how we end these reviews. Um, we always are gonna give you my rating and then Mr. IH Productions ratings, right? Um, and then also, as we're giving this to you guys, I want you to start thinking about your ratings. One to 10, one being absolutely, tr we don't do zero, right? That's just zero, just, Zero, I won't even do a review on it. I'm just be honest with you, right? It won't even hit this channel. One being like, hell nah, it's not bad. I see why people like it, but hell no for me. Whereas a 10 is like, yo, that sneaker is perfect. If I buy it, there's never a sneaker I need to buy again because that's what the 10 would be, right? So that being said, guys, um, I've taken some time to think about these. I've actually had these for like two, three days now and they are my size, right? <laughs> so I am gonna give these a really, really strong score of a 9.7. A 9.7 out of 10, right? And that's literally the highest rating I've given on this channel for everything that we reviewed um, because I just think these are absolutely amazing, right? Um, and I'll, I'll give you my, my justification right now. Um, They're based on the Concord 11s, which I love. I rock my Concord 11s almost every other day, even though I got 80 sneakers, right? Just because they go with everything. Um, but on top of that, we get these gold hits, which if you haven't noticed, 
gold is my thing, right? So I think this is gonna go crazy with any piece of jewelry I wanna wear or even my earrings, just a small little pop out, right? But putting that gold on top of black and white just really gives that premium luxury uh, look, which everything about Vital Chinatown is about, right? On top of that, guys, even though it is an OG, I think by adding a leather upper rather than a mesh, they're actually upgrading the sneaker. I don't care if it's not exactly matching the OG world, right? These are still gonna go crazy and I'm getting even more premium materials, so that's a win to me. Finally, the outsole, even though it's a little bit different from the OG, like I said, in terms of its aging, that's totally cool. And um, they've started doing this more, so I think us as a community has gotten used to it. But tell me if you agree or not, it just makes it so cohesive, right? So a 9.7 is super high. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because one, nothing's perfect. Two, the packaging could have been better. Right, if they put the plastic insoles and they gave us a really cool box, I think I would have bumped it up point one or two, right? Um, that being said, Mr. IH Productions, what do you feel about the Jordan 11 DMPs? Gotta give it a 7.8. 7.8, okay, that's that's not bad. That's, that's, that's on the higher end. Why do you say that? I like the leather hits now. Yeah, yeah, but... Those, those really up, upgrade the quality. Okay, so you agree with that, right? So you don't care if it goes with the OG hits or whatever, right? Okay, so why not Why not a nine? Why, what, what's making it a 7.8? Um, I, I guess game time. Game time decision? Okay, okay, you're kind of feeling it. I can see him like, like just like scratching his head and really thinking about it, right? I get it, I get it. You're not totally sold on it yet. Uh, to be honest, guys, I've been a sneakerhead way longer than IH Productions, right? So I think that also matters for your opinion here because there's always just a nostalgic feel when it comes to uh, Jordan 11s, right? Especially ones that look like the Concord. All right, so that being said, guys, drop your rating in the comments right now. Are you on the lower end? Are you on the higher end? And make sure you tell us why. We're looking forward to engaging with you guys. And we're also looking forward to the rest of our YouTube experience with you guys. So thank you so much, guys. We'll catch you on the next video.